Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise to give you the non-biased information you can use to make informed decisions. Now in this video, this is the, the second video in my series of how to create a portfolio that meets your risk tolerance that hopefully meets your objective at the end of the next bull run. My goal is to keep you from self-sabotaging your portfolio because from where I sit and talking to countless people, we all have the exact same problem. It happened to me and it happens to probably 99% of everyone that gets involved in crypto. You start buying you watch some videos you get the fomo going and next thing you know you're stacking different positions you don't really have a game plan and you look up one day and you're probably out of money because you've been stacking more than maybe you wanted to but you have 5 10 15 maybe even 50 different bags that you have stacked and some of them have pumped you missed it you can't stay on top of everything that's happening and you miss a lot of opportunities the number one way to not be successful in any investment in any investing whatsoever is to not have a game plan and not implementing whatever your strategy is because i'm telling you guys i'm already working with people one-on-one -on -one and i see it every day people have built some portfolios that were working and did work quite well but because they didn't have a game plan they didn't ca capture all those positive results so that's the purpose of this video and many others i'm going to put these in a playlist so that you guys can use them as a resource to learn now on this video we're going to dive into if I was going to start building a 20x portfolio that hopefully would meet that objective at the end of the next bull run, these are definitely projects that I would put on my list to start stacking. Now, this is not financial advice, but we're going to dive through every one of these videos and then I'm going to tell you what I have learned along the way of some missed opportunities. And things that I want to share with you guys because I'm telling you self sabotage of not having a roadmap and a game plan will wreck the majority of people in crypto anyway let's dive into it now this first project is stacks it is built on the top of Bitcoin and it's a game changer now I'm not going to dive into these as deep dives but I am going to do videos where I break down and do a deeper dive on every one of these projects because they're every one of them, in my opinion, are outstanding. And most of them will be new to you because not a lot of people are following these projects. A few of them, yes. And I only own, I think, two or three of these projects. But again, that gets where the self sabotage is. I've missed two of these biggest pumps of the year so far because I did the videos, I did the research, I wrote them down on my list to stack, and they were dirt cheap, and I didn't get around to it for whatever reason. I'm going to share that knowledge with you. Now, anyway, Stacks has been pumping since the first of the year. There is so much going on with the Bitcoin ecosystem. It's a game changer. Now, Stacks has NFTs that are entirely different than most NFTs. I'm not going to get into that. But it's a game changer for the Bitcoin ecosystem. And they've already minted like 600,000 NFTs on Bitcoin. And Stacks ecosystem is absolutely exploding now check this out 
stacks is as far as I know the only crypto that I can verify and I'm sure there's one or two others that has le legally definitely been approved by the SEC no regulation issues whatsoever check this out the SEC approval of STX the public offering was approved under regulation A of 2012 jumpstart our business startups act which was introduced as a way to help fledgling companies raise capital with minimal disclosure requirements so if you want to stack STX you're good to go not financial advice now that being said I'm going to start stacking that project. I'm going to wait for a pullback and we'll take a look at the chart and I'll tell you why. But long story short, guys, it's built on the top of Bitcoin. And then, so you have Bitcoin as the security layer, then you have stacks, and it is ready to bring DeFi, NFTs, Metaverse, whatever into the ecosystem of Bitcoin. I'm telling you guys, this project is going to rock and roll if they do a fraction of what I think they're going to do. Now, that being said, the reason I did, I was excited initially about Stacks is I did a video like seven, eight, nine months ago when it was dirt cheap. And the reason I wrote it down to put in my portfolio, which I did not do was because they have the Miami token. Long story short, it's a way that the cities and all the governments, counties, it doesn't matter, can create their own token and make money. They make the profits and get to keep them. The Miami token, like after the first year, produced like $20, $22 million. Now I'm doing this by memory. And they were doing about, 1.2 million i believe a month and i saw a podcast where the mayor said our goal with the miami token is to get rid of all taxes inside the city limits of miami well that got me thinking okay i know it's early but once these other cities and counties and governments realize how much money can be made and how successful this project is they're going to jump in well, that's why I initially wanted to stack it, but I was like, well, I got more, I got a lot of time. Next thing you know, I didn't follow my process and I missed. Look what I missed, guys. Check this out. I did my video, bear with me. I did my video back in here, right? So this thing was at like, what is that, 40 cents? And then it rallied to like a dollar fifteen. That's not a massive pump, but considering we're in a bear market, that's pretty good. I missed it. Didn't have a game plan, or I didn't implement my game plan. I had one. Now, this is a moonshot token. It's probably the most aggressive one in this playlist. It's called Alex. Long short story short, it's built as part of the ecosystem of Bitcoin and it sets inside the Stacks ecosystem. And guys, they are just going to launch new projects for the Bitcoin community and the Bitcoin ecosystem. I couldn't be more excited. They are going to bring all kinds of projects. From D5, they're going to have a launch pad, a DEX. You're going to be able to stake, swaps, you name it, they're bringing it. They're going to add liquidity to the ecosystem. It is all positive. And the best part about it is it is so early, but it's getting a lot of adoption already and a lot of attention. And I could be wrong, guys. But when Bitcoin runs, and we know it's going to run, and it's going to be the leader, it's, in my opinion, not financial advice, it's not if Bitcoin makes a new high, it's just when. And when it does, Stacks is going to follow, 
and Alex is going to follow. And I believe Alex could be that moonshot. It already has, and it's early, 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 30,000 followers, and it's getting a lot of attention. And the best thing about it is check out this chart. Look at this upside. It's way down the road. Now, remember, guys, don't go run stack this thing. But look at this. This is the first of the year. This thing was at 0 .0, 0 0.014 and has rallied all the way up to 12 cents. That's a big move. And it's got a long way to go. Now. When I'm talking about building out this portfolio, here's what I want you guys to think about. No matter what your portfolio or risk tolerance is, we need to have a strategy. What is your risk tolerance? What is your goal? Are you going to dollar cost in, dollar cost average out? What are you going to do? Because here's an example. Let's say that you own this and you bought it during the holidays last year. Well. You just call a 5X. What are you going to do? You're going to take profits? It needs to meet whatever your objective is and was when you put on the position. If I was in Alex, for example, and let's say I put $1,000 in just to make it simple, immediately, once I get like a 2, 3X, I'm pulling out my thousand dollars and then I'll let it run and kind of just see what's going on in the environment and the adoption and the excitement and all that. And but I'm going to dollar cost average out, even though my game plan initially is bull run and it always is bull run to bull run. However, these bear pumps i'm always looking to cover my position because i don't think that this or any other project including bitcoin is going to run from here to make new highs i don't think that's where we're at i think we're going to go back and something's going to break in the economy the global economy and the u.s economy and i'll be able to stack these more so let's think about it if you stack this project, and that's really what this is about, guys. These are great projects, but I really want to kind of show you how I think and how successful traders and investors think. Okay. If you would have already caught this and you'd have bought it, say, the end of last year, and you dollar cost averaged out, maybe you're still in it, but you're only in it about 20%. But you have your first thousand dollars, and now maybe you're setting on two, three thousand dollar profits, and you still have say fifteen dollar, fifteen hundred dollar invested. Now, yeah, it could run. I could be totally wrong with what's going on in the world and the banks. The banks could collapse, and everyone jump into Bitcoin, and the bottom is in. And maybe I left some money on the table. So what? You know, you get a three, four, five X on a bear pump and you were wrong. That's worst case scenario. But what I've seen and what you want to guard against is that you think it's going to go higher and higher and higher. Because, guys, I'm working with people one on one and I see it every day. People catch massive pumps. And now they're still holding the same bag because it came back and came back and came back. And they thought it was just a correction and it ended up being over. So they took, you know, 10, 15, 20x and didn't make a penny. And now they're sitting on a bag for over a year. We don't want that to happen. Now, internet computer. People don't know this. And I know we're talking about Bitcoin, and believe me, I'm not a Bitcoin maxi in the least. But Internet Computer basically has turned itself, even though it's a layer one and it is a great layer one, but as 
for the Bitcoin ecosystem, it is position itself as a layer two, kind of like Matic is for Ethereum. But you can now process smart contracts on the Bitcoin ecosystem through internet computer, and you're going to be able to do it through the Stacks ecosystem as well. But internet computer already is ready to not only offer smart contracts with the security of Bitcoin, they are smart contracts that are advanced that you can change if you need them for like business, mortgages, or whatever. So guys, I'm telling you, I think this is a sleeping giant. And check this out. Now, this is just my opinion. Do your own homework. However, and this talks about the internet computer is integrated with Bitcoin network as a protocol level. The canister smart contract it hosts can create Bitcoin addresses as well as send and receive Bitcoin directly on the Bitcoin network. So that's what one thing, one thing the internet computer does. But here's the deal, guys. When I was talking about do your own homework. When I first got into crypto and dove into this project, it is a phenomenal project. It checked every box, except when you look at the chart. And a lot of people said it was a scam. A lot of people said it was a rug pull. The team, and I'm doing this by memory, is like from, I believe it's Goldman Sachs uh, uh, group and some of the you know big power players on Wall Street. And the thing, basically dumped check let me see this chart check this out guys and i know i'm rambling but bear with me hopefully we're gonna hopefully learn a lot during the process look at that launch guys well that's over like 420 dollars i think that's what that is well i can't do that but it 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 was a move yeah 428 dollars and then it just died well now we're finding out that basically FTX, old Sam, kind of sabotaged that entire project because it could compete with Solana. And that's kind of been proven in, you know, like I said, just do your own research. Well, now they're trying to rebuild their reputation and maybe they're going to get a fair shot and it will show up in the next bull run. Either way, at these prices, I mean, this thing is low. I'm looking to take that risk because if what they have said about the technology in the past is true, this thing could take off. I mean, look at that, guys. I'm not saying it will, but if, remember, the more aggressive you are with your portfolio, the more risk. Now, Conflux, another project that I'm kicking myself for. I did a video like six months ago, four months ago about what China has planned in crypto and conflicts come up in all my research. It just kept coming up, kept coming up. I wrote it down, I dove into it and I said, I need to buy this token. Well, I didn't do it. But I'm not made out of money. And honestly, guys, the reason I'm working one on one with people now is because I had to solve my own problem. Because as long as I've been trading, I've been in and out of the markets. I did my first like trade in stocks, penny stocks, probably 30, 32 years ago. I know it makes me feel old. But I never had a problem with not sticking to my game plan because there there is no FUD and FOMO like there is in crypto. When I was trading foreign currencies, yeah, there was two or three trades that were really exciting at the time. But in crypto, there's 20, 30, 40, 300 going on at one time. Depending on, you know, what social media account you're on, you might have 15 phenomenal projects thrown at you in a day and the FOMO is off the charts. The next thing you know, you own it. No game plan and you just keep stacking. Well, that happened to me. But check this out. If I would have 
done what I said. I said, look, China's behind them. China's the one printing money. Look at that, guys. That right there is like a 25X. But that being said, let's pretend it was you. What would, would have been your game plan? Would you have had a game plan? Because a lot of people think that the bull market is just starting. They might not sell out. Well, I'm not stacking this right now because I think it's going to pull back. It's going to give back a lot of that 25X. I could be wrong, but I hope I'm not because I do want to get in. Now, Synthex. This thing right here, guys, is a thing of beauty. Now, a lot of the technology, to be honest, is a little over my head to understand it, how it works. But I understand the big picture. And we all know that tokenized assets, everything will be tokenized in the future. Everything. Your house, your car, your, you know, your health records, your passports, you name it. Well, these basically is like tokenized you have tokenized assets but these are the derivatives of the tokenized assets to make it simple but now check this out the reason this thing can be a rocket and is doing really really well for lack of a better way to say it this is where the big boys are playing right now from what i can tell because here's the deal guys you know legally and ethically wall street has doesn't have a lot of avenues to get into crypto so they have to go into the derivatives market and you know they there is no spot bitcoin which there should be but they can play in this arena and they have been so i recommend everyone dig into this asset right here dig it Dig into this project and find out what it's all about. And I'll just read this to you real quick. Synthetic assets, also known as crypto sins, are essentially tokenized derivatives. Let's understand tokenized derivatives with an example. Consider a derivative whose value is linked to another asset via a contract. In that case, we can trade the movement of that value using trading products like futures a derivative is basically just a byproduct of the real asset to to make it simple guys i'm telling you this project is going to be a rock star and it's already doing extremely well i would also go go to their website but go check out their twitter account they got 226,000 followers and guys, these these are some of the people that really understand crypto and how to move around the markets. A lot of your developers and the people that are actively trading daily. It's a great, great project. I'm glad I found it. It's already in the almost in the top 50. There's no doubt this project will be in the top 50. But look at this, guys. It's been all the way up to $28 right now. It's at that $250 ish, something like that. It's a great project, guys. Go check it, take a look at it. Now, this project you may have heard me talk about in some of my past videos when, when it comes to JP Morgan. Long story short, JP Morgan like the central banks, the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance, Microsoft, BlackRock, the people like Consensus, Consensus that built on top of Ethereum, the big group of power players, and they have a heck of a roadmap. Well, now they've incorporated Chain into Onyx. Well, Onyx is the blockchain in the ecosystem of JP Morgan. And they have a new foundation and a, a DAO and a lot of different things that they are setting up to promote this 
chain. It just launched or, or merged or whatever you want to call it. It used to be the CHN token, and now it's the XCN token. And you're going to see a lot of activity, in my opinion, on this blockchain. Because here's the big picture of Wall Street and the banks and like the governments. They want to control everything. If they can, they're going to keep us away from it. They're going to close their blockchains and their networks, but they can't totally. And believe me, all around the edges and the leftovers or whatever, because they're going to get the lion's share, it's massive opportunity. But they want a piece of every bit of the pie that they can. So in my opinion, from what I can see, they've set XCN up to push the projects that they can't put on their own private blockchain. And they're trying, they try to push everything somehow, some way into Ethereum. And this is going to be one of those blockchains that is open source. So they can't control it, but some way, somehow, they're going to get a piece of that pie. And that's why I think they set it up this way. And that's why it's part of the ecosystem. Now, here's the last one. Cytherium. Guys, I just spent about two hours diving into the Fed now, you know, uh, paperwork and stuff. Because it's been a while since I went down the rabbit hole on Ethereum or Cytherium. And guys, more bullish than ever. ever. Check this out. And this thing, guys, it's more, I, and I do own, I got to say, I do own Cytherium. I've been stacking it a little bit for a while. It's more of a long-term hold, but I plan on selling all of mine at the end of the next bull run. But check this out. when, And I, I'm going to do a deep, deep dive on Cytherium. But when I was reading this article at the very last page, it basically said everything, and I mean everything, the entire base of Fed now is going to set on Ethereum as far as the blockchain part of it. And at the end of the, the article, it said there's going to be a in and out network that if you're, you know, think about this, guys. If you're going to get money from the Fed, the legacy banking system, me, you, in another, you know, uh, corona type pandemic, whatever, you're going to have to have two, a in and out network. And I'll be more specific, specific in the deep dive, but all everyone, everyone, SWIFT's going to be attached to it. The private blockchains like JP Morgan, the repo markets, everything, all the governments around the world. Anyone that deals with the Fed and gets money directly from the Fed, the Fed, all the people that have a wallet that work for the U.S. governments are going to be using a wallet or tied to a bank that has the in and out network. Now, over time, guys, this is going to absolutely explode. I don't know how long it's going to take for the demand to catch up with the supply but with the fed now about to be rolled out and all that gets kick started the hype could be crazy you got to have a game plan and that's what this video is all about yes these are great projects remember don't go fomo in they're great projects do your homework because here's my plan for instance on cytherium i could have already been selling out the initial plan was definitely I want to hold it until the Fed now, you know, gets rolled out and we start to see the hype and the adoption. Now, at that time, I'm going to play it by ear. However, immediately, if it starts to pump, I want to take my initial investment out. That's my game plan. Now, that being said, Part another part of that game plan is because I normally dollar cost average out. Now look at this. 
This is my mistake, and I want to share it with you. I've been stacking back in here, right? Pocket change. Look where this thing ran. And I don't know what my bag is, but this is 0 0.001, right? It ran up to 10 cents. I didn't take any of that profit because I wasn't on top of my game. However, that being said, I did stick to my game plan. So we'll see if it works. But if I had it to do over again, because I'll be honest, I didn't see this pump coming pre the rollout. But what I'm getting at is no matter who you are, I could have already took out my initial investment. Actually, I still can and I may. But the whole point of this entire video and what I want everyone to understand is what is your game plan? Now, I'm going to give you an example and then we'll talk about how you can work with me one on one if you choose. I own XRP. I think it's a phenomenal trade. That's why I got involved in it. Now, let's just say hypothetically that we wake up tomorrow and the announcement comes out and Ripple won the court case. There's no if and buts about it. It's going to pump. So let's say that it pumps, just say, $1.80. And depending on where you're at, is that enough? Are you going to take a profit? Are you going to pull your initial investment out? I mean, I know a lot of people that believe the hype that it can go to $100, $1,000, $10,000. I'm not going to get on that high horse of, of educating people about math right now, but it could pump realistically to a new high. It could go to $5, go to $10. Somehow it could get crazy and maybe go to $15. But here's my question. Have you, do you have a plan? Because guys, some people, no matter who you are, it's going to happen to all of us. Some people are going to sell out way too early. But more people, especially as the example of XRP, I would say most people are not going to catch that pump. They're going to miss all of it, and they're going to end up holding it another two, three, four years and watching the people that lied to them and gave them the hype that told them it was going to go to a thousand or ten thousand or fifty thousand dollar buy buyout. But either way, whatever your game plan is, you got to have it in place and stick to it because the number one way to wreck yourself is to be playing everything by ear and not have a game plan. I know my game plan to the T. I'll go ahead and tell you. If we wake up tomorrow and XRP is pumping because they won the lawsuit, I'm going to immediately take out my initial investment. And then I'm just going to watch what's happening, see if like Coinbase relisted and all that stuff. That's my plan. And I'm going to dollar cost average out. And I would be shocked if I own it more than two months after that, probably more than two weeks. Now, that's my big picture plan. My number one plan, because this is what I think might happen. I think the excitement might be so great that it could spike really, really hard. Like I'm not talking about going to a dollar fifty. And three days later, it's at you know dollar seventy five, and it just keeps steadily pumping. I think it could absolutely rocket, like go from wherever it's at that morning to within three days later, it's already went to four dollars and twenty cents. If it runs like that with that kind of time frame, I'm out. And not only am I out, I'll probably go short at that time because. I think it could, and I know I'm getting on a tangent, but bear with me. I think it could just spike to a huge number, you know, three, four, five dollars. It could just spike, but it will be done. People will have taken their profits, and then it'll fall back down, maybe say a dollar, and sit there for a long, long time. That's kind of my thoughts. But either way, guys, you got to ride out 
your your game plan. If you think it's going to 10,000, then stick to it. Ride it out, but that's going to be a 10, 15 year ride, and that's fine if that's your game plan. So anyway, guys, didn't mean to ramble on, but these projects are going to be great deep dives. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. If you want to work one on one with me, I'll leave my email down below in the description and I'll pin it in the comment section. It's $250. We'll probably have three, four, or five calls and maybe like Skypes together. So you'll have a lot of access and time with me, a lot more than normal. But this is a new development that I'm trying to create this program. And over time, it will be more expensive, but either way, no matter where the price ends up, you'll have a lot less access to me in the future because I should be able to do this in about two phone calls once I get my system down pat. But I'm willing to lower my price and definitely talk to you guys a lot longer than I normally would so that you can help me get my program where I want it. So it's a win win it's $250 send me an email we'll take it from there we'll get you signed up and remember none of this financial advice but this coaching program guys hopefully is going to educate you give you the knowledge you need and a framework so that you won't sabotage your portfolio because and we're going to give you measuring sticks and the way to think before you put on every single position i'm going to tell you what i do and it's exactly like trading even though it may be a long-term hold when i go into a position i have to measure it against my other positions for instance if you're just looking to put in say ten thousand dollars and you'd be happy with a 7x maybe a 10x just buy Ethereum. That's it. Nothing else. Why would you buy anything else and have a higher risk if all that's if that's all you want? That's the best probability. So that would be your measuring stick, right? If you want to catch a 20x, what's your measuring stick? Right? If you want to get crazy and do 50x's and 100 x you're going to have to get into ICOs, right? You also got to have a plan of how much money are you looking to put in there. You don't want to just start putting money into crypto as you go and not really have an amount because it needs to be money that you can afford to lose. Not saying you should want to lose it, but this is crypto. And no matter what, most people would tell you that the least risky crypto is more like the worst type of stock. I personally don't believe that. Not financial advice. I personally believe Bitcoin itself is probably the best secure, best risk reward on the planet. I'll put it up there with real estate, Tesla, Apple, Coca-Cola, you name it. I think it is on that level. Even with gold, that's me personally. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Like I said, if you want to work with me, it's $250. You'll end up getting a lot of time. And hopefully, when it's all said and done, you'll have a game plan. You'll have everything in place so that you can make really good decisions and not sabotage yourself. Because I'm telling you guys, this right here is what wrecks us all if we don't have a game plan. That's all I got for you guys. If you want to see these deep dives, make sure you subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I'm putting this in a playlist if you want to watch the other, the other portfolio builds. Now, the very first video that I did was basically about what steps you need to take. It's not like this. It's step by step of what you need to know before you buy your first token or how to look at your portfolio. So I will leave a link down below and at the end of this video, watch the very first one or just find the playlist. That's all I got for you guys. 
hit that like button, come back, be part of this community, and hopefully this helps.